On December 8, 1988, Lois Flournoy picked up a cab fare, which sadly would end up being his final cab fare. At approximately 7.43 p.m., Lois had radioed in to dispatch stating that he had picked up a fare in downtown Reno at the Circus Circus. That fare had requested to go to the Mustang Ranch brothel, however it is unclear if that fare was one person or multiple. Even back in 1988, the cabbies did have a warning system to notify dispatch if the driver was in any kind of trouble, however Lois was never activated. His cab was located near the Western Village Casino. It does not state an exact location, but this area is behind Western Village and seems like a prime location to dump a cab. Sadly, about an hour after Lloyd's last check-in with dispatch, his body was located in an area near Mustang. Now, this area is a dirt road. It's off of the Mustang exit, and it is right next to the 80 freeway. Now, Lois had been a taxi cab driver since 1983 for Whittlesea Checker Taxi. This did create quite the stir, obviously, with the cabbies, and many of them were angry. Many of them wanted retaliation against whoever this was. Um, they had some choice words for this person, rightfully so. Many of them even said that it could have been them. However, the thing is, is that nobody should ever lose their life to a coward, somebody that goes into hiding after taking somebody's life. I mean, these people shouldn't have to fear going to work. That's just insanity to me. Now, these right here are pins that I dropped for the location of Lloyd's cab pickup, his cab drop off, and where his cab was found. Also, the location that Lloyd's body was discovered. Now, if you or anyone you know was driving on Interstate 80 between downtown Reno and all the way up in Mustang, um, and you saw anything out of the ordinary on the side of the road where you saw a cab that wasn't supposed to be there or any kind of movement over there. I mean, this is nighttime, so it's honestly going to be hard to see anything. But anything could lead to something at this point. Lois never deserved to be stabbed to death. He looked like a man that you just wanted to give a hug to. So there was a $3,000 reward offered uh, basically, like always, leading to any information for an arrest. Now, I do have some concern as when you look at what the Washer County Sheriff's has posted for Lloyd's age, it says that he is 64 years old. However, this is his grave and all the articles that I could find online, he was indeed 66 years old. So um, that's some information that should probably get corrected because that's not even his correct age. Now, the cab's policy was to give them whatever they wanted, so if they ever had a confrontation, if they wanted the cab, they wanted the money, they were to give it to them. Uh, nobody really knows how Lloyd's would react, but Lloyd's did lose his life to being stabbed to death. So if you or anyone you know has any information leading to the arrest or has any knowledge of what happened to Lloyd's, please contact Washoe County Sheriff's Department. If you do not feel comfortable contacting Washoe County Sheriff's Department, then feel free to send me an email at cc at cctv.co and I will pass along your tip anonymously. Like any case, Lloyd's deserves his justice.